Hey, Jen. That mask. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a Knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. I mean... Huh? Someday I'll die, and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. So, I'm officially a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. and naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. Oh. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. You'd each have your just share of dignity. Questor, is it really true that... Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts... It's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the Architect's will imminent takes many able hands. Maybe this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans, have a longer life with humans. 
<laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Uh, I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jim. Still? Still? Being like this isn't so bad, either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships. <laughs>